Uh, okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video on web phishing. Uh, this is a game that I've enjoyed in the past. Well, this is a genre of game that I've enjoyed in the past. Um, so, like, Fish Zone is a game back in the day that was pretty similar to this that I enjoyed. But anyway, it, it's like a really chill game where you just kind of hang out and fish um, and sit back and kind of do other stuff. It's like second monitor content, but it's pretty chill. So, I recently I was just kind of playing this game and, like, watching videos, see what other people had to say um, about the game, and I came across this one guy that was named Rotten Coffee, shout out to him, but anyway, he was showcasing this way to, like, duplicate um, money in this game, because you can gamble in this game, you have little scratch-offs where you match the numbers and you win some money, um, and so if you jump in the water at the exact same time that you do this scratch off um, and this interface comes up, uh, you can swap the item that you're holding once you respawn. And then once you do the scratch off, it won't delete the scratch off. So you basically can infinitely gamble and you just get infinite money. Um, and so I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is pretty cool. Um, and so since that I'm a speedrunner and most of my channel or most of my videos on this channel are speedrunning videos, I thought, okay, what are the web fishing guy speedrunners doing? Um, and so I checked and they did not know about this. Um, and there was nothing in the rules about this method either. Um, so what I did is I kind of snooped around. I was like, are there any categories that I can use to... Uh, get a quick little world record and um, so the first one I clicked on which was kind of a faster category because I didn't want to have to invest a bunch of time um, was the spectral rod speed run where basically you run around collect a bunch of bones and then get some money get like five hundred dollars and then you can buy the rod and you, you win but th when I clicked on the run the guy already got the max possible win on his first scratch off ticket in the game and so i was like okay well there's no way that this method could improve upon that um so then i checked on a different category um the max camp tier speed run um and you basically just get twelve thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars to buy all the upgrades you need so it's basically just a money speed run and so i was like okay so i clicked on this one and the run was like three hours long um, and the guy was just fishing normally in the game. And so he did not use this method at all. So I was like, oh, okay, my perfect opportunity. Um, and so basically I didn't do much testing at all. I just jumped in um, immediately to my first try. Uh, and I, I got this run on my first try. Um, it only took me like 50 minutes or, you know, 47 minutes. Um, and so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share some of my thoughts on the run itself um, and kind of walk you through it. So basically, immediately when you spawn into the tutorial, this tutorial has a 2.5 times catch rate. So you want to stay here to get your early money. Um, so you want $325 from this area because you can buy your first camp upgrade for $250, and that unlocks the ability to purchase the second tier of scratch-off tickets, which have higher winning possibilities, um, for $75. And all you need is one, if you're doing the method right. So you do that, then you run over and you buy your ticket, and you just start abusing this method. And you do this for as long as it takes to get the remaining $12,500, and then once you have that, then you just run back to your camp and upgrade it the rest of the way. It's a pretty simple speed run at the moment, and I thought it was kind of fun. Um, but there's there's a lot of ways that you can improve upon this. Um, obviously, the number one way is that you could just immediately win the max prize, which is $25,000, I think. Um, and then the run would just end in like four minutes. Um, but I, I don't know what the odds are on that. Probably pretty rare. Somebody will get it eventually if they do it enough. But for now, it's pretty much anybody's game. Because um, I've only done one run. Um, but other than that, obvious kind of 
elephant in the room. The other things that you can do to improve upon this run is not mess up tickets, because sometimes I would mess up the glitch because I don't really have the muscle memory down yet. And so I would accidentally use up the ticket and then have to run all the way back and buy a new one and then come back and then continue doing the method. Um, and then there's also some nuance to like how fast you can scratch off the tickets. Um, you only need to scratch off like the numbers or something. And if you knew exactly where those were, then you could just go straight, straight through and it'd be way quicker. And yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure people can get good at that, but I was, I hadn't done much gambling in the game, so I kind of didn't really know exactly where I was trying to scratch off. Um, let's see what else. If, uh, so there's also room to make like the jumping into the water technique faster. Um, and I was kind of messing around with ways to do this where I would just like stand kind of right at the hit, hit box of the, the deep water and then just kind of move in a little bit and then immediately hit it. But I think I think I was going to mess up more tickets doing that that way just because I wasn't very familiar with the method. So I kind of went back. I have, yeah, so I, yeah, so I kind of went back and then I just kind of finished the rest of the ray, the rest of the run with the old method. Um, and then there's also like a little bit of movement here and there, you know, just making it from the actual main base camp out to where the guy sells you the tickets and then you just go spawn right back. Um, so there's only a little bit of movement in this run and you can improve upon that. W one more thing is that while I was doing this method, I would sometimes just get sent back to spawn without me even selecting to go back to spawn. And I think that has to do with, like, repeatedly dying over and over again. Um, and it kind of kind of messed up my run a little bit, but not too badly. Um, so that might be something that needs to be avoided in the future. Um, but, yeah, pretty much this, you know, obviously first run making use of this. So there's a lot of improvement to be done. And uh, pretty much anybody can get the, the record if they want. So get out there, start doing this, and um, yeah, go get the record. One more thing that I'll mention is that uh, if you want to keep your save data um, of the game, because for each speedrun you have to reset your save data, you can just go into the game files and then copy your save data to like somewhere in like a different folder that's safe. Um, and the game won't overwrite that. Um, there's a there's a guide on the speedrun page to do that. You basically just, you know, go into the percent app data percent uh, thing and then find your way to the web phishing folder and then copy it and put it somewhere safe. Um, but yeah, you know, I just wanted to quickly ramble about this um just because it was something kind of fun that i did on the weekend and um yeah thanks for watching